Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to code a new LCM and how to code your LCM for LED taillights on a BMW E46. This is part two to uh, the LED retrofit in a 2002-330CI. Now I did mention that I was going to show you guys how to install the new LCM, but there's a lot of things in the forums of how to install it. It's pretty easy. You pull off this, two screws, slide this up, and there's a connector. So I didn't bother showing you guys how to um, install that. Some of you guys might not need, need to even install a new one. So you need to install a new one if your car, um, if you're installing LED taillights, you need to install a new one if your car is a 2002 or older and if you're not sure if you're on the borderline, you can actually remove this. And if it's below software version 3.0, then you can not code LED taillights. It has to be above 3.0. And if you're looking for a new one because your car is older, make sure you get one that is above software version 3.0. Now, I know some of you guys might not be coding LED taillights. You might just want to know how to code a new, or well, a used LCM that BMW says is not possible. It is, in fact, possible to code a new LCM without the tamper dot on the dashboard. As you can see right here, my car is in position two and I have no tamper dot on my dashboard. Usually the tamper dot is right after the mile. So in this case, right after the six, there's a little dot. Yes, when you first put it in, there will be a dot, but that dot is 100% removable using two pieces of code. One is not, um, Using So we have to use BMW scanner, and if you have a BMW E46, you need to use version 1.40. I think if, I know if you have an E60, you need to use 1.6 and some other versions. You can look what car, what version your car, specific car needs, and that's actually to write the VIN and write the mileage, and that will get rid of your um, tamper dot. However, that will not pull over the new information from the car. So you might have some bulb warnings right here. You might have some bulb warnings about some things going on with your car. And that is why we are going to use NCS Expert to fix those errors. We're gonna write LED taillights to the VIN. And um, you will need two cables for this. You will need your IMPA cable, your DCAN cable. So let me show you that. So this is your decan cable. Make sure you do get it with a switch if it's a decan cable. If you need help, where to buy this one? I have a video called How to Code Your BMW. I'll link it to the in description. It will show you how where to get this one, and it will show you where to get NCS Expert, how to install it, and all the profiles. And you will also need a cable for BMW scanner. Unfortunately, it uses a different um, it uses a different cable. I'll show you the cable right here. Here's the cable, it says BMW scanner on it, and it says these are all the ones it works for. An E38, E39, E46, E53, E83, and E85. So if you do not have that, you are going to need a newer version of this cable to code your new or used LCM in this case. Um, to start off, what we're going to do is make sure your LCM is in. Again, if you're coding a new one just because it died, or if you're coding a new one because um, of you want to put LED taillights in. And again, if you're doing LED taillights, make sure you have a version 3.0 or higher. Um, before I forget to mention, if you guys need any sort of parts, I do have a um, ECS tuning affiliate link. So if you guys could just buy stuff through there, report the channel. So the first thing you're going to need to start off to do this, um, besides the cable, is you're going to have to take a note of your last seven digits of your VIN and the last and the what your mileage is at. So if I just turn, you can either press the button. Oh, actually it's the left one, sorry. You can either press the button to find it and I found out my uh, mileage right there. And to find your VIN, you can look in the door, you can read it in, um, in BMW scanner 1.4, you can look on the front of your car, up here, outside, it's right here, it's in your door, it's all over the place. So if you grab your VIN, you only need the last seven, I'm sure you guys know where to find that, so let's get started. So once I have that information, I have that, I'm going to take my BMW scanner um, right here, I'm going to plug it in, it's plugged in, we're gonna flick to position two, so one, two with the key, 
and then I'm gonna jump to screen recording. Okay, so first thing you're gonna want to do once you have everything connected, make sure your car is in position two, cable is plugged in. So as you can see, I'll plug it in right now so you guys can see that it's connected. So it's connected, and now I'm gonna launch BMW scanner. And it's gonna say switch on ignition and press continue. So we're gonna press continue. And it's gonna look for the car now. And it's gonna say please wait. Let's see if we can find the car. And now right here, this is where you will see um, this is where you'll actually see that the IKE and the LCM do not match up. You'll see that your mileage is wrong as well as the VIN. Like I said, I've already coded this one. I'm going back and showing you guys how to do it so mine is correct, but these two should be different. Now, I know my mileage is a little different, but the LCM isn't actually 100% accurate. It's around can be around 100 off I've been reading. So, it should be close enough. It doesn't need to be exact, I guess, but I still put in the exact one when I code it. So, we're going to click close here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the LCM, and then we're going to click change algorithm, and then we're going to click view support list. And here's where you want to find, um, it might already match it up for you, it matched it up for me to find out my version, but this is where you want to find your software version if it's 2.4, uh, 2.5 or 3.6, in this case it is 2.4. Five. Mine's 2.5 and 3.6. It doesn't matter if this is wrong. Find the closest one. It will say that it has partial um, identification match. I have a um, complete a complete match, and you can see right there. So once you find it, just click on it and then click close. Okay. So now that we've made the versions match of what, so the car knows which version of the LCM you have. Now you're going to want to go under reprogramming. You're going to want to click write odometer. And this is where you want to write your odometer that you see on the dash, the full odometer reading, just write it right there. Press okay. It will write it. And then, um, that part will be done. I'm not going to show you guys actually how to uh, putting mine in just because I've already done it, but it will say, please wait. And then it'll say coding done. And then, I'm just going to press cancel, you're going to press OK, and it'll do everything. And now once that's done, you're going to click reprogramming again, and you're going to click write FGSTNR, and this is where you're going to enter the last seven digits of your VIN number, and then you're going to press OK, and it'll say please wait, and then it will do that, and then once you're done, you're going to click cancel, oh, I mean, sorry, you're going to press OK, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to rewrite it. We're going to click reprogramming, and then we're going to click copy FA coding and because you have a new LCM we want to go from the IKE to the LCM so you're going to press IKE to LCM to write the other information to copy all the um, vehicle order and FA coding to uh, the LCM and you're going to press that and it will say please wait and then it'll say okay so that's all you actually have to do inside of PA soft now if you toggle your car off like your ignition switch off and back on to position two, you will notice that you no longer have the tamper dot. However, you might notice that you have some other weird looking lights for saying some of your lights are out, especially if you have LEDs, it'll still say they're out and they they out and they will still not work. So now we have to use NCS Expert to code the, LC, the LEDs to the car. And since this LCM came from another car, it still has other cars data. We need to code your car's data in your car's settings so we're going to code it to the defaults from for your car all right so now we're going to code the actual um, lcm to have all the data led taillights and reset it to default so your information from the other car is not on there so to do that we're going to launch info to make sure we have a good connection my car is in position two and cables connected cable detected ignition good so i can close this out launch ncs expert then i'm going to click file load Revters NCS Expert pro Profile, click OK on that. I'm going to click Start. I'm going to click Chassis. I have an E46, so I'm going to click E46. Then if you have a car that is newer than 2001, you're going to click AKMB or ALSC. In this case, I have a 2002, so I'm going to click the first one. If it's older, you're going to do EW. If it's older than 2001, EWS or KMB. 
So my car is newer, so we're going to click A, K, and B. Click OK. It's going to find the VIN. It's going to load everything up. Out the car, the vehicle order. And then I'm going to click back. Now we're going to click uh, start again. And then we're going to click edit vehicle order. We're going to click D46. We're going to click OK. And right here, we're going to add this attribute. We're going to add plus LED H. And this is what your old LCM, if it's an older one, will not allow you to take. So you're going to click add and you're going to press OK. I already have it added. I'm not going to. Add it again. Make sure this is spelt out. It's plus L E D H and it's capital H. Uh, capital L, capital E, capital D, capital H. Everything is capital. So I'm going to back that out. I'm going to press OK. Now we're going to click back. We're going to click process one specific ECU at a time and we're going to process the A, K, and B. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to go change job and we're going to change that to F A right. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to execute the job, and right here it will say coding active, coding ending, and then you'll be all set. I'm not going to do it because I've already coded it. Now, the next thing we want to do, we want to code the LCM to also know that it has um, the new vehicle information of LED taillights. So to do that, we are going to go change ECU, and we're going to change it to A. L S C. We're going to press OK. Press OK again. This is where we're going to go change jobs, and then we're going to go F A right. OK. Execute the job. It will say coding active, coding ended right there. And then the last thing we're going to do is because the car has information from someone else's car and not your car, we're going to rewrite it to the defaults of this car. And to do that, we're going to click change job again. Under make sure it says A L S C. We're going to change that to SG Coderin, and we're going to press OK, and then we're going to click Execute Job, and right here again, it will say Coding Active, Coding Ended, and that is it. Your car is now coded to have LED taillights. You should have no errors. If there were personal settings that you did have coded to the car, um, like Triple Blink, um, LED uh, fogs and high beams and low beams, you will have to recode that. It will lose that, but I'll show you guys right now what my dash now looks like with nothing on it. If you now look at my dash, I have no lights. I can turn my lights on. I have my LED taillights now installed and you guys learned how to code an LCM, a new one, and code it for LED taillights. So it was kind of, it's a weird process. It's kind of put into each other, um, me coding and, uh, coding the LCM and coding it for LEDs because you have to, when you code it for LEDs, you have to reset it to defaults and when you have a new LCM, you have to reset it to defaults. That's that last part, the SG Codeer in part. But the only thing you need to add to add LEDs is that LED H, the plus LED H. And if you don't want to do LEDs and you just want to code a new LCM, that's the only difference. You do not follow that one, well that two steps because I did it twice. I did it once for the uh, a, K, and B, and then I did it again for the other, the actual light control module. So that's the, it for this video. I know there's a lot going on. It's kind of confusing to keep up and understand everything that's going on, but if you've coded before and can follow along pretty well, it's a pretty good guide on how to code new LCM and LED taillights. If you have any other questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below and check out my ECS affiliate link if you guys need anything for your BMW. Thank you guys so much for all the support and I'll catch you guys in the next one.